Welcome back. I've got a story that I want to tell you about an African man that loved to ride his horse. And he used to ride it across the open fields. And his name was Mafu. So this is a, a story about Mr. Mafu. One day, Mr. Mafu was riding his horse across the open plain. He rode on his property. And then he moved, as he was running his horse, he was having a gay old time. And he got onto his neighbor's property and continued to run. And all of a sudden, Mr. Mafu's horse stepped in a hole. When he stepped in the hole, of course, what happened was the horse fell. Now, as the horse fell, Mr. Mafu got trapped under the, under the horse. And as he got trapped under the horse, his leg got twisted in a bad position. And he hurt his leg. Now, fortunately, Mr. Mafu's neighbor wasn't too far away, and he saw the accident happen. And so he came running over. He said, Mr. Mafu, ah, are you hurt? And Mafu said, oh, my leg, oh. And the friend said, oops, yeah, feels like your leg's broken. Let me go get a cart, and we'll take you into the hospital so they can take care of your leg. And Mr. Mafu said, oh, thank you. Oh, it really hurts. We need to go. So. His friend came, put him in the cart, carted him over to the hospital. They took the, Mr. Mafu into the hospital, and the doctor took an x-ray. And he said, yep, you've got a spiral fracture. I mean, it's a bad break. We're going to have to put you in a cast. And then after we have you in the cast, we really need you to stay in the hospital for a little bit. So we watch to make sure it's beginning to heal. So his friend went home, and another friend came and said, uh, ah, I'm sorry to hear that you fell, uh, that your horse fell on your friend's land next door and you broke your leg. I have a question, Mafu. What did you do to your neighbor? Because you must have really got him angry at you that he put a cor uh, curse on your horse so that a horse stepped in the hole, the horse fell on you and broke your leg. And Mr. Mafu says, ah, oh, I... You really think he did? You really think he put a curse on me? Yeah, I, I, I think so. This friend left, and as Mr. Mafu laid in his bed and thought about that, he began to say, well, yeah, what did I do wrong that my friend would put a curse on me? And so he continued thinking about that, and the more he thought about it, the angrier he got, and the more agitated he got. And eventually, he got out of the hospital. After he got out of the hospital, his leg totally healed. But all during this time, he was plotting what he could do to get back at his neighbor. And eventually, he did get back at his neighbor. End of the story. Let's kind of talk about what did you hear in this story? What, what happened in this story? Well, the very first thing that happened is Mr. Mafu was riding his horse on his neighbor's property and fell off the horse, got his legs stuck under the horse, and broke his leg. Okay. So he broke his leg. Then what happened? Well, next, uh, uh, his neighbor came and uh, helped him. He um, came, to the, came to his aid. Okay, good. So uh, this is a pretty nice neighbor. Came to his aid. Okay. Then what happened? The neighbor got a cart and took him to the hospital. Okay, he got him to the hospital. What happened in the hospital? The doctor put a cast on his leg and had him rest at the hospital for a few days. Okay, so now he's in the hospital, resting in a few days. What happened in the hospital? His good friend comes with the bad news that his neighbor put a curse on him, and that's why he fell off the horse and broke his leg. Oh, mm, that's not very good, is it? Okay, so what happened while Mr. Mafu was lying in the hospital? He began to think about what had happened, and become angrier and angrier that maybe his neighbor had, in fact, done something. Okay, so he began to really think about this, didn't he? And began. Okay, what happened when he got out of the hospital? Well, eventually, he got back at his neighbor. Okay. Well, you know, Mr. Mafu's leg healed, but was he healthy? 
after his physical break had broken, was he healthy? Curtis. No. Uh, he was bitter. He was paranoid. He was angry. He had a broken relationship with his neighbor. I'd say that's not, not very healthy. Not very healthy, yeah. So he had physical problems. He had some emotional problems within himself. And he had some social problems as well with his neighbor, didn't he? Conflict. Well, what we're going to be talking about in our small groups is what's necessary for a person or a community to be healthy. There's some things that need to be in place for a person to be healthy or even a community to be healthy. Now, we're going to do this in the small group, but let's just get started. One, give me one or two things that might come to your mind. Mm -hmm. For community to be healthy, uh, you have clean water? Yeah, right. You've got to have clean water. What else? Yeah. For a person to be healthy, they need good relationships. Okay, good relationships. Super. Okay, go to your, uh, in your home group, we want you to go ahead and come up with different elements. And remember, think holistically. Physical, spiritual, emotional, social. Make a long list of what does a person or an individual need to be healthy. 